Hey everybody, doing a little quick upload right here. Um, sorry. There we go. I got Android running on my Windows mobile phone. My HTC Touch, which I don't really enjoy that much. Uh, so, I was looking around the internet and I found out a way of running Android on it. Sorry, you can't really see it that well. It's not running Android right now, but right now I'm going to boot Linux. And you should be able to see it. There we go. It runs okay. There's no way of using it as your complete phone as of now, but, uh, you know, it works pretty well. I just figured out how to put third-party apps on it, which is, you know, pretty far out, man. Because the Android apps kick the crap out of the, what's it called? The, the not iPhone, the Windows Mobile apps. Hi, there's, there's me. Hey. Anyway, so, uh, it's booting up right now. Uh, if any of you own Windows Mobile and want to know how to do this, I would really make a tutorial. Here. Uh, there's, come on, there we go. Sorry, that little clicking noise, that's my camera freaking out because I'm using an eyesight. And, uh, it basically, it works really smooth, actually. Uh, I was able to get Mebo on there, Google Maps, weather, a bunch of things. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see. The camera doesn't work. The calendar doesn't work. There's a bunch of things that don't work, but like the web browser works, a bunch of stuff. Anyway, yeah, that's Windows Mo Windows Mobile. That's uh Android for the iPod Touch. Oh yeah, also for the iPod Touch, Android for the HTC Touch. It also has a little Google search bar. I don't know if you can see that. And if you hit the camera button, come on, come on, come on, baby. Yeah, it's not working. It doesn't like me. One second. There we go. You get a little nice keyboard over there and press it. It actually vibrates your phone to give you more tactile feedback. It's pretty amazing, actually. Anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, yeah. All right. See you guys. Bye.